Hi everyone, for this lit trip I'm going to be talking about my life and my parents' life to show how I ended up being the person that I am today. I hope you guys enjoy. So for the first stop, it is my mom's birthplace. She was born on October 27, 1967 in El Salvador. To be more specific, it was Barrio Candelera, San Salvador, El Salvador. She lived there until she was 13, until she moved to the United States to live with my grandma. So she moved to Rosemead when she came to the United States in 1980. She lived in Rosemead. Um, it was kind of hard for her, you know, not really knowing how to speak English. and She did whatever she could to help my grandma. My dad, this is the next stop, he was born in Mexico on November 17, 1968. To be more specific, Jalisco, Guadalajara, Mexico. He lived there until he was 11, and he came to the United States to help my grandpa support his family. When he came to the United States, he moved to Monterey Park. Um, it was in 19... 79 his lifestyle wasn't that much different from how he was in Mexico but he helped my grandpa with a lot of things when my parents met it was in high school it was Mark Hipple High School to be exact um, and my mom was a sophomore and my dad was a freshman when they met and they started dating a year later Their journey. They got married in 1992, and they moved to West Covina, California. Um, here they had me, my brother, and my sister, and we lived there in this in this specific house for 15 years. We then moved to another house in Covina. Um, my parents decided that since we were growing up, we needed a bigger house to live in, so this is why we moved to Covina. Everything was going good in this house until my grandparents passed away from my mom's side, um, only months apart. This tragedy really opened our eyes and made us think about how precious life was. And so we moved again to Rialto, California. Here we moved because we felt that we needed to be closer to my grandma and my great-grandma from my dad's side. And... We just felt like their lives were very precious to us, and we couldn't waste what life they had left. And my last stop is here in Laverne. Um, obviously, I attend Laverne. I will be here for another two years. Hopefully, I will attend here for my master's. And this is where my story for the lit trip ends, but my journey will always continue. Thank you.